Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on microbial culture media or culture media for microorganisms. Okay, and this is the part two video on this microbial culture media. Okay, so the first question of this part two video that is which of the following is authentic about blood agar and the options are option A it is a synthetic media, option B always sterilized by autoclaving before use, option C used to check hemolytic features of certain group of bacteria and option D all of the above. So which one is true about the or authentic about the blood agar and the right answer is option C that is this blood agar is used to check hemolytic activity or hemolytic features of certain group of bacteria. So what is this hemolytic activity and this hemolytic activity is assessed by growing bacteria on blood agar plates. If there is a hemolytic activity the bacteria will form colonies surrounded by a clear zone. So hemolytic activity is caused by bacterial enzymes called hemolysins and these enzymes diffuse outward from the colonies causing complete or partial lysis of the red blood cells which are present in this blood agar. So this is the reason. So this is so blood agar is used to check the hemolytic activity of some bacteria. Okay. So let's move on to the next question that is question number 22. So all except one is authentic about characteristics of Maconchis agar and the options are option A lactose as source of sugar to check fermenting ability. Option B phenol rate as indicator system option c bile salt in it inhibits non intestinal bacteria option d it has neutral rate as indicator system so which one is correct and uh, all except one is authentic okay about the maconchis agar so the right answer is option b that is phenol rate is indicator system so that is the wrong statement about the Maconchis agar because the actual uh, indicator system is neutral rate which is present in Maconchis agar okay so let's move on to question number 23 that is on Maconchis agar E. coli is seen as option a pink colonies option b yellow colonies option c greenish colonies option d dark blue or violet colonies so the right answer is option a that is pink colonies so on maconchis agar e coli is seen as pink colonies like this this is the plate for escherichia coli and here we can see this is the lactose fermenting colonies which showing pink colonies like escherichia coli and here is the non lactose fermenting colonies which can grow in the uh, maconchis agar but they are producing the yellow colonies because they are non lactose fermenting colonies and the indicator of this coloring that is neutral rate okay so let's move on to question number 24 so which of the following is enriched medium and the options are option a nutrient agar option b lg medium option c op, sorry option a nutrient agar option b blood agar option c lg medium and option d subordus agar so the right answer is option b that is blood agar is an example of enriched medium okay so this blood agar is an enriched medium used to culture bacteria and microbes that are difficult to grow and these bacteria are called fastidious because they require a special nutritional environment this blood agar contains mammalian blood as usually sheep or horse blood at a concentration of 5 to 10 percent and the blood this blood provides additional growth factor for the fastidious organisms okay so let's move on to question number 25 that is which of the following medium can be sterilized in autoclave and the options are option a maconchis agar option b nutrient agar option C both or option D Lowenstein Janssen agar so which media we can sterilize by autoclave so the right answer is option C it is both it is 
macon ki agar and nutrient agar we can sterilize by autoclave but not lowenstein jensen agar okay next is option question number 26 a culture media used in cultivation of microorganisms provides option a oxygen option b co2 and other gaseous requirements option c agar as solidifying platform to adhere or option d nutrients and the right one is option d that is nutrients so a culture media used to cultivate in cultivation of microorganisms provides nutrients okay so next question dekhenge. next is question number 27 that is media that innovates the growth of one species or genera but not other when grown all together is called as option a differential media option b selective media option c specific media option d synthetic media and the right one is option b that is selective media so media that inhibits the growth of one species or genera but not other when grown all together is called as selective media okay so let's move on to question number 28 that is media that promotes growth of bacteria which are very least in count in the sample is called as option a differential media option b selective media option c specific media option d enrichment media and the right one is option d that is enrichment media so enrichment media is used to increase the number or enrich their number of bacteria okay so let's move on to question number 29 that is a uh, medium of solid or liquid preparation used to grow transport and store microorganisms is called as option a culture medium option b general purpose media option c synthetic media or option d semi <coughs> semi synthetic media so the right one is option a that is culture media so a media of solid or liquid preparation used to grow transport and store microorganisms is called as culture media okay so let's move on to question number 30 that is which of the following dyes or stains supports growth of gram negatives by selectively inhibiting gram positive bacteria and the options are option a bile salt option b basic fusion option c crystal violet or option d all of the above so the right one is option D that is all of the above so which of the following dyes or stain support growth of gram negatives bacteria by selectively inhibiting gram positive bacteria that are bile salt basic fusion and crystal violet they can kill the gram positive bacteria so that's why we can use these dyes in the uh, specific media or selective media for gram negatives gram negative microorganisms okay so let's move on to question number 31 that is the addition of blood or special nutrients in general medium logically to the addition of blood or special nutrients are added in a medium because of option a to make bacteria hemolytic option b make bacteria grow slow in blood option c encourage growth of fastidious heterotrophs or option d all of the above so the right answer about the addition of blood or special nutrient in a media is option c that is to encourage growth of fastidious heterotrophs okay so let's move on to question number 32 that is which of the following medium is or are suitable for e coli isolation and the options are option a endo agar option b using methylene blue agar option c maconkis agar or option d all of the above so which one is used for estrechia coli isolation and the right one is option d that is all of this media is used for isolation of estrechia coli okay next question they can get next is question number 33 it is which of the following is or are correct about differential media and the options are option a this blood agar is differential as well as enriched media option b maconkis agar is both differential and selective media option c differential media differentiate and permits 
टेंटेटिव आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ बैक्टीरिया बेस्ड ऑन देयर बायोलॉजिकल फीचर्स और ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबोव सो द राइट वन इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज ऑल ऑफ द एबोव आर करेक्ट अबाउट डिफरेंशियल मीडिया ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 34 अ मीडियम इन व्हिच ऑल कंपोनेंट्स आर नोन इज कॉल्ड एज ऑप्शन ए सिंथेटिक मीडिया ऑप्शन बी डिफाइंड मीडिया ऑप्शन सी बोथ और ऑप्शन डी definite medium and the right one is option c that is both that is synthetic and defined so a media in which all components are known it is known as synthetic media and also defined media so this synthetic media is a type of defined media a defined media is a medium that contains a known concentrations of ingredients and the synthetic media is produced from pure chemical substances okay so where the medium concentration is known that media is known as defined media okay and synthetic media is a type of defined media so let's move on to question number 35 a protein hydrolyzed made by incomplete digestion of meat casein and other protein sources is called as option a digestive medium option b peptone option c pro, uh, propionolactone propionolactone or option d hydrolysis and the right one is option b that is peptone so a uh, protein hydrolysed made by incomplete digestion of meat casein and other protein sources is called as peptone okay so next is option question number 36 so beef extracts consist of option a amino acids and peptides option b nucleotides and organic acids option c vitamins and minerals option d all of the above so the right one is option d that is all of the above okay next one is question number 37 that is which of the following forms of medium are used in microbiological lab for culturing microorganisms and the options are option a broth medium option b liquid medium and and so, semi solid medium option c solid medium option d all of the above so the right one is option d that is all of the above so which one of the following form of medium are used in microbiological lab for culturing microorganism that is broth media liquid media semi solid media and solid media so all of these medias can used in microbiological lab for culturing microorganisms so let's move on to question number 38 so in order to cultivate autotrophic microorganisms or non fastidious heterotrophs the preferable choice of medium is or option a pure chemicals option b synthetic media option c chemically defined medium or option d all of the above and the right one is option d that is all of the above so in order to cultivate autotrophic microorganisms or non fastidious heterotrophs the preferable choice of medium is pure chemicals or synthetic medium or chemically defined medium okay so next is question number 39 that is the process of practically rendering medium or material free from any kind of life is called option a apertization option b pasteurization option c sterilization or option d homogenization so the process of partially rendering medium or material free from any kind of life is so this is called practically the process of practically rendering medium or material free from any kind of life is known as option c that is sterilization so the last question of this video that is in autoclaving items are sterilized by exposure to steam at option a 121 degree celsius for 15 minute option b 121 degree celsius and 15 lbps for 15 minute option c 121 degree celsius for 15 second or option d 121 degree celsius for 15 second at 15 lbps so the right answer about the autoclaving is option b that is 121 degree celsius and 15 lbps for 15 minutes so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on mcqs on microbial cell uh, microbial culture media okay so thank you for watching this video